three minutes applied semiotic square mapping. I'm going to take the subject today, human dwelling, and I'm using attributes small and large. So, so small, the S1 is a small, the opposite is a large, which is S2, and minus S2, according to the semiotic square, we need to write not large. So your contradictory diagonal S1 minus S1 is a not small. So now we got our basic uh, semiotic square. So now let's map this human dwelling. So let's look at the first uh, aspect of it, small and not large. What is small, not large regarding human dwelling? Maybe a studio apartment, okay? We all know studio apartments are really small. And let's look at large and not small. What could be that? Yes, palaces. Yes, villas. Yes, maybe 10 bedroom houses. Yeah, let's keep it villas. Okay, the large villa. Okay, so what could be that? The small and large, the same time it's small and large. It coexists small and large. What is coming to my mind is shared apartment. Okay, you all know the shared apartment. So which has got all the amenities, huge kitchen and hall and whatnot, all the amenities from swimming pool to the garden. Within that particular premises, uh, the bedroom is kind of, it's exclusively for you. And then all those amenities from kitchen, pool, and all of them are uh, used by uh, all the members who stays in that shared apartment. So you can see there are two aspects. The bedroom is a small, which is corresponding. The larger that premises itself, all the facilities itself. So therefore, we can say that shared apartment has got a two aspects, small and large aspects coming together and staying together. Okay, the lastly, we look at not large and not small. What could be that? Okay, what is coming to my mind is virtual apartment. Virtual apartment or virtual living or virtual world. So now you can see that how you take a subject, human dwelling, and you have attributes like uh, small and large, which is opposite words. And then you mapped it. Now you can see four distinct or, or, or what you call the mapping of human dwelling. So this is a really a powerful tool which helps you to see other possibilities, newer possibilities. And uh, the more you practice this particular tool, the better you become in terms of uh, creating new meanings or innovating new product and services. So in every session, I'm gonna take a subject and a set of attributes and try to map and show you the different, different possibilities. I will see you in the following session with uh, another set of attributes, another subject, and let's uh, map it and see the new possibilities. Thanks for listening. See you in the following session.